I'm going to take a closer look at this plug now before I start undoing screws and all that. Okay? I notice I got a red wire here, a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. Hmm. Usually you don't see a red wire here. What's up with that? Okay, well, as you remember, the bottom plug is controlled by a light switch, and that's where the red wire is attached. There's a Usually there's a tab in between these two screws on this side and when there's a tab on there that keeps both of these then it, if you got a, a wire a black wire connected to just one screw it keeps both plugs hot. Well if you want one of these plugs controlled by a light switch you can break the little tab off. It's a little copper tab and you'll see it. You bend that back and forth then that means you have to bring power to each plug section individually. That's why there's a red wire there. Okay? So I've got to be careful about that because when I rewire this up, I got to make sure that I got the red wire down on this bottom plug. Now I could switch it. I could have the top plug done, uh, but just for just for safe practices, I'm just going to put it down here on the bottom instead of the top, but like I say, you could flip those around have the red wire up on the top screw, the black wire down on the bottom screw, then then your light switch would control the top of the plug, okay? So, and then I see that the white wires are connected over here to this side here. I'm just kind of acclimating myself here first before I start taking these wire nuts apart, okay? Make sure that you kind of understand what's going on here, and I'll go into a little bit more detail, but for right now, you know that there's a white wires, there's one pigtail here that comes over to the white wire screw. Now the, the screws on this side, there's a tab on there and that's still connected. So that's why there's only one pigtail coming over here to the neutral side, okay? Then you've got a black wire to the top, red wire to the bottom. You could take a picture of this, you could write this down as a diagram or whatever so that you can remember how you're gonna rehook this up, okay? And then you've got a ground wire that's connected to the bottom, okay? So once you once you have that written down and and looked at and you understand that, now is the time that we're gonna start taking these wire nuts apart and kind of rearrange the wires, pull them out, and then see where we're gonna go from there.